Hey, hello, this is Matt Crouch from River Oaks Jeep. And behind me, I have a 2023 Jeep Wrangler Sahara 4xE. And you can tell it's a, it's a 4xE in the electric engine from the blue uh, color tone and the blue tow hooks, which is exclusive to the 4xE engine. You can tell, that's how you can tell the difference from a 4xE and our regular Wrangler internal gas combustion engines. And then right here on the left side, this will be our charging port. You just click it into open like our gas engines and you just pop it open. And that's where you can plug in your included level one charging cord. And that will charge it up to full 100% in about 12 hours. You can get a level two charger installed anywhere at your home, apartment as well. We can go to our aftermarket director, Tony, if you wanted to get one of those, and that charges it to 100 in about two hours. And one way you can also tell by the charging indication when you turn it on, is there's a little dash right here on the front. It's five little lights that'll beep up in 20% increments from 20 to 40 to 60 to 80, until you get to fully charged, so you can kind of tell without having to start up your car. And on with the um, 4 by it uses the 2.0 liter engine com combined with our electric battery, which comes with, when it's on the electric, has 375 horsepower and 470 pounds of feet of torque compared to 270 horsepower when it's on with just the inc internal combustion engine. And then um, also when it's, on that inst when it's on the electric, you get that instant torque, silent ride, so you can hear everything when you're on the off-roading, if you want to hear the rocks, branches breaking, everything like that, so you can use that. And you can do that by using one of the three hybrid modes inside to kind of control between the gas and the electric, which is with our, it starts out in hybrid, which is the default option that combines the electric and the gas. So it'll mainly use the, um, the gas uh, and, and uh, no, the electric and it'll kick into the gas whenever you need it. And then the full electric button, that'll make it run on solely electric. So it'll save up all that gas. And then if you wanted to save up your battery until you get out to the trails or anywhere that you wanted, you'd hit that e-save button and that would use fully the battery, so you, I mean the gas, so it would save on your battery. And then on the instrument panel, if you want to follow me inside, you can kind of tell with the charging right here on the right side, it'll give you how many miles you have on your battery and how much your battery percentage is up here at the top. So you can kind of tell it mixes it in here with the RPM and the gas rating as well. And then the way to cha also charge the battery is with the regenerative braking, which is basically it captures the energy loss. Whenever you're accelerating, you take off the acceleration. It captures that loss energy and converts it into the electric battery charge. And you can also make that more powerful with the max regenerative, which will fully put as much power on the accelerator. So it will capture even more energy. And then it'll basically enable one pedal braking, which is so you don't have to use your brake pedals. So just say you're accelerating, you take your foot off, it'll instantly start coming to a stop on its own. And the electric is perfect for that instant, as I said earlier, that low range torque instantly. So if you want to get that smooth ride with the electric, quiet, and then mainly it's really good for the short daily commute drivers. And then I can also show you where the charging port is that comes included in it, which will be in the back, which will be in this little electric bag right here, which will be in you also have more storage underneath. Right there is where you usually have it if you have anything else in the back you're taking with your camping or anything like that. Let's take a look at the engine real fast. You can see it's that 2.0 liter engine. That's what helps with the gas power and the along with the engine. And I can also show you where the battery is located as well. So basically, they try to conceal it so it doesn't take away Oh, damn. So they try to conceal it so it doesn't take away as any cabin space or anything. So they keep it underneath the seat as they thought was the best option to eliminate any storage that you may want it in the back or in the back seats as well. And on the full battery charge, it comes with 21 miles of electric engine space on the miles. And then with the full combined with the gas, it's a combined 370. And it's got 49 MPG as well, which is miles per gallon equivalent, which is how many, how much one gallon of the combined gas and electric will give you on a given charge of one gallon of gas. If that kind of explains MPG as best as I can. <laughs> and then um, that's the Wrangler 4 by Sahara.